Hello and welcome back ladies and gents. It is August 20th, 2022. It's a fantastic 70 something degrees. Beautiful day for hiking, so that is what we're doing. We are at one of my most favorite places in all of Iowa. It's known as Brent's Trail in the Los Hills State Forest. Nestled pretty close to the Missouri River. I was kind of talking about the low soil in my last video at Yellow Banks Park, and this park has even more of it. In my opinion, this is one of the hardest trails in all of Iowa. It's extremely difficult in terms of uh, the ups and downs and the gradients, the grades. You know, we're talking 33% at times, so it can be pretty wild. I think you guys are going to like it. Apologies, it's not a stealth camping video. I promise them will be coming out. It is going to get cold soon, so I just don't want to waste the summer. I'd rather kind of get to some places that would be really need to go to without it being freezing out. That's kind of my motivation here. Uh, let's explore some of this trail. Trail getting pretty thick. Just a couple miles that way lies the Nebraska border. In general, separated by Missouri River. Should we show off our selfie uh, skills? Looks like we found one of the best places for a selfie. Holy smokes, I'm out of breath. These hills are no joke. Camera probably can't pick that up, but it's steep. We made it to the extension. Brent's trail used to be about eight miles until they extended it another, uh, it looks like another four. So extended it to about 12 miles and uh, finally reached the intersection. So it goes this way. I have kind of a secret camp spot, I think down here. I want to see if I can find it again. I eyeballed it on a journey down here uh, a while ago. And it's going to take some work to get there again. At this point, some of you might be wondering who exactly was this Brent and why did they name a trail after him? If my memory serves me right, Brent was one of the only state foresters to ever be certified in Iowa. And he primarily took care of this Los Hills state forest. And 
he had this vision. He wanted to create this long winding trail through this beautiful state forest. At the time there was none, or if there was, there wasn't very much of it. And he had this vision. Sadly, he never got to see it because at the age of 55, he, I want to say he died of pancreatic cancer. It's uh, pretty sad, but the whole reason this trail exists today is because of uh, a man named Brent Olson, I believe. Hey guys, I'm not an expert on plant identification, but I do happen to notice this, what this plant looks like. I was here last year and it was a cornfield. And I can tell the ecosystem just looks significantly healthier. There's these butterflies flying around all over the place. And a bunch of uh, wild marijuana plants. Got some buds growing on them. Covered. Oh. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I'm getting starved and I really need a coffee right now bad so I figured right here is a good place to make it. I got a good view of the overlook behind the camera. Oh, man, I need to get some food. I gotta hurry because I only have this thing I gotta get it going and it's kind of a lot of work so. This thing's actually working pretty good today. It's boiling fast. We got our handy dandy taster's choice today. Yummy. Cheers, guys. Much needed right now. This is reinvigorating. I was getting pretty wiped there. This isn't good, by the way. Those definitely look like storm clouds. We'll have to see how that turns out. Okay, guys, so we're moving on. Ooh, that's going to be a drop. All right, guys, we finally reached the end of the southern portion of the trail. Seven point seven miles, fifteen hundred feet. We've been going for three hours, forty five minutes. Oh, gosh, guys, I'm not going to lie. I'm getting tired. Oh, man. Definitely turning into what I call it type two type of fun. Let's start making our way back before I get too exhausted. Let's gotta find a campsite. Oh guys, I gotta be honest with you, I'm not doing too well. Oh that sun is just beaming down. There's just so much sun out here. There's no shade. The hill is just, just killing me. Oh I need a break. I need to sit down for a minute, guys. I can't believe I'm getting this tired. I 
I found this chair here. I'm seriously not doing well. It's so hot. Please, son, just go down. <sighs> you know I'm getting tired when the bandana comes off. Oh. I've never been this tired before. Oh, it's like I almost want to call my family and tell them to come rescue me. That's not going to happen. There's only one way I'm getting out of here. But this is going to be home for the night. I'm just going to get my tent set up and go lay in that for a minute. Well, guys, we're in a bit of a conundrum here. What ended up happening is that I forgot to bring any sleeping gear. I didn't pack it. So I'm basically left with maybe one option here. I can try to sleep using my uh, tent cover as a blanket. It's the only thing I can think of that might work. Oh, I don't know if this is gonna work, guys. All right, I gotta get some stakes made for the tent. I think I'm just gonna try using the tent uh, cover as a sleeping, or as a cover, basically. So let's hope it doesn't rain. We already got that going. I was actually able to start that on the first try with my ferro rod. I have this fire starter here. Works really easy. You just get your pocket knife and just cut a little chunk off. It just starts right up. Pretty easy. Not a bad campsite. I wish I would have at least remembered to bring my sleeping bag liner or a sleeping bag and a pillow. Okay, so we're pretty much done cooking here. How do you think that's looking, guys? Time to dig in, enjoy, get some energy back. Hopefully I'll feel better after this. Get you in a bit. This crystal light's looking pretty good right now. I'm not gonna lie guys, this trip's been pretty rough on me. By thirsty as heck, and I just have to conserve my water because there's no water around to filter. I tell you what, this is a pretty rough re region. I know it's only Iowa, but this is a very rugged part and it really really will take a toll on you um low sills come here i promise you you'll have fun luckily the sun's starting to set i think when the sun sets and the temperature goes down i'll feel a lot better i plan to get up early in the morning around 5 30 or 6 when it's coolest it should be like 55 to 60 and just start hiking that's going to be my best bet because it just it's too hot out here so that's my plan let's just hang out as the sun sets you know i bet i know a word none of you have heard in a long time and it's called estivation and that's what i'm going to be doing right now i'm going to be estivating out of that sun my god only about an hour left before sunset and we can finally get some relief. I'm easily going to survive till tomorrow, but this isn't going to be comfortable. I don't even know if I'm going to get any sleep tonight. Listen, there's a woodpecker close to me. I've estivated long enough to recuperate. <sighs> Beautiful out here, though. I just wish I could enjoy it more. only it could have been like this all day long because it is absolutely gorgeous now and 
kind of sucks because I'm still thirsty and I have to conserve my water to last me till tomorrow, but if we're lucky, we might get a bang or sunset. I just wanted to say, I'm not actually rich enough to own two cameras. Thank you, my brother, for letting me borrow that because that is taking my time-lapse photos because I'm hoping to get a bang or star night lapse and sunset. My plan is to walk down this ridge around sunset and enjoy the views because I think I'll make this whole trip a lot better given everything that's kind of happened. We might even be able to see the glow of Omaha tonight. Omaha, about 45 miles that direction maybe. Omaha, Nebraska. Going up this way is a lot of rural land. Um, even though we're so close to Omaha, I know that this place per, uh, has some excellent night skies, so let's hope we get some good ones. I'm standing at the end of the ridge. It's the most beautiful place to stand, but there's nowhere to sit. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Nowhere to sit though. Look, I'll admit I'm a weirdo because when I look out to this expanse, I can see the lights of the cars going down the roads. And all I can think about is how fascinating it is to watch people go by, you know? It kind of makes me wonder who are they and where are they going and what are they thinking about? You know, everybody has a story. I just wonder what's all on their minds. I'm really amazed with this place. You can actually see the Milky Way, and I can tell you, I don't think you can see me because it's actually dark out here. But there's gonna be some bangers, star lap, night lapses tonight. Some bangers. You can definitely see the glow of Omaha. How it's light there, and as you turn to the right, it gets really dark. They turn to the left. Oh, there's Omaha. The coyotes have come out to play. Coyotes in this direction too. There's something about coyotes under a Milky Way that just get me. Hey guys, I'm in the tent now and I just want to show you my sleeping setup. So here we have my air mattress. This will be my pillow tonight. I've got my rain jacket inside for some comf comfiness. And this is my cover. The tent. 
cover. So I'm gonna be getting ready for sleep. Oh, I think this is gonna work okay. Hopefully it just doesn't rain and I'll be set. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the morning. I'm gonna hit the haystack. So peace out and good night, ladies and gents. Coyotes are thick tonight. It worked. So it's a beautiful morning. We survived the night even though we didn't have any sleeping gear. And look what we're greeted to. Beautiful. Look how much fog's coming off that Missouri River. Get this tent tore down quick, get our things picked up here, and get on with a... Overall, it was not a bad sleep. That was actually pretty decent. It did get a little bit chilly, but not that bad. Basically like as if it was 55 in your room and you only had a single sheet blanket on. That's kind of the equivalent of what it was like, but it was pretty nice. Definitely made it through the night. I'm so glad I roughed it out because the stars were beautiful. It's about 8.30. 
I am pretty good at sleeping in. That is one thing I am for sure good at. Brent's trail is easy to follow. You just need to look for the maple leaves. Be warned, do not touch these plants. Cause these things right here, they stick on your clothes and they attach to you. You don't get covered in them. So you just kind of got to be conscious of that while you're hiking. It's so funny because I'm just walking through this stuff. And I'm like, God, who's smoking that weed? And just right in front of me. It actually does smell this morning. There's a ton of it up here too. Right, it's all over here. I can't help but wonder if perhaps it had to have been a couple of years ago now somebody actually was legally growing marijuana out here. And this is a pretty secluded part of the forest. I mean, if this trail was in here, it'd be extremely difficult to reach this part of the forest. It really makes me think somebody seriously did come out here uh, just because it was so secluded at one point. Interesting. It looks like uh, there's some Kentucky bluegrass growing here. Didn't expect to see that. Lots of marijuana growing up here too. All over around here. Wow, look at this marijuana plant. It's twice as tall as I am. So we finally made it back to this intersection. If we go this way, it takes us to some absolutely beautiful views and overlooks. But as long as I keep doing this, I'm going to save that for another video because there's just too much out here to show in one video. Way too much. Way too much. Getting closer to home.
Hey guys, I just want to thank you so much for watching this with me. If you stuck around this far, I want to give you a special, special, special thank you. Really appreciate it. I really hope that I did a good job in showing you, showcasing the Low Sills State Forest for you and some of the beauty it has to offer. We hardly got to see everything in this forest. There's just way too much out here, but as long as I keep this channel going, we'll be back. Um, I got it pulled up on my map here, and I want to show you guys how much you've hiked because you came with me, so you've hiked this too. So, we've done seven hours, 20 minutes of hiking, 14.8 miles, 2,900 feet gain, 2.2 miles and uh per hour average pace 26 about 27 minute miles that's what the elevation looked like not bad kicked my ass guys I gotta be honest with you i almost bailed almost bailed i was just getting beat down guys but we survived we survived another day and guess what our car is still there and and uh we're on our way home so with that being said i want to thank you so much for watching again i'll catch you on the next one peace